Hi there. This is my um, manual advanced magazine for the FX Impact. Okay, so this will fit the um, Mark II and Mark III uh, FX Impact, uh, but not the Mark I, uh, unless it's been um, modified for the uh, the large magazine. Yep, because this is the same size. So the way it works is three parts to it. There's the base and a lid that's screw screwed into the base and then in the middle you've got the um, the holders for the uh, for the rounds and they uh, click into place with uh, ball bearings and springs okay now um, the advantage of this is that uh, the, the, the the slugs aren't loose in the magazine like an FX uh, magazine and the reason I made this was some slugs that I was using weren't held in place and uh, they wouldn't load I had to jiggle the um, the cocking lever to get them to load in properly. So um, I've uh, designed this myself and uh, made these now, and I've been testing them. Uh, I've got all the calibers from 177 to .35. Uh, I don't have the uh, 35 um, uh, probe or barrel, uh, but I've sent uh, two off to two people in, in the states, and they've uh, both tested them, and they're working okay. But um, all the others are working fine. So this is 2.5. I don't, I don't think I've done a video on the 2.5 yet, to, so you can see it. So just so you know, this is an FX impact, yeah. And I've got the Humor uh, uh, pellet probe in here, not the standard one, but it's the same size for diameter to, to, to demonstrate cycling. Now, the way these work is there are 17 round holes in here, so 17 slugs can be uh, stored, can be uh, loaded in here, and there is a blanking. Uh, slot there it is. So that's the blanking slot, so that you can load this up with your slugs or pellets, cut, stick it in your pocket or or your uh, case, and they won't fall out when it's on that position. Now, obviously, if you load it on that position, I'll just show you. Safe. If we load it in with the blanking position, obviously, it's going to obstruct the um, the pellet probe, so it won't go in. But that's fine you know about that so you'd know that you would have to rotate it one to be able to load it now the U my my um, the, the USP for this item is that um, it, this probably doesn't matter for sub 12 but for higher power you don't want to leave your um, rifle cocked uh, for too long because of the weight of the springs uh, if you left it cocked for half an hour well I'll, I wouldn't like to say it would but it might damage the spring so my preference is when I'm using these now is to leave the first one empty and then load from there. That allows me to load it like this. Okay. So I could decock it. Oh, safety off. Decock it. Yeah. And now the probe is forward, the rifle isn't cocked, and there's nothing in the in, there is no slug in the um, in the breech. And I can you walk around with it like this until I need to take a shot and then I'll just cock it, put the safety cash on for now, cycle it one, we're loaded. Uh, next shot, cock it, and that goes all the way around for us. Well, for in this my example it would be 16 rounds because there are actually 17 holes. Okay, so you get the idea. So when you get to the good news is when you get to the very end, I'll try and guess this, no, 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 there it is. So that one there means you, you're out. So if we look at this one, you'll see that's the blanking, the blanking one, okay? So they're 3D printed, um, but if you look after them like you would in a regular magazine, I think they'll last a long time. Uh, I've done them uh, out of... Uh, the strongest um, filament that you can buy and uh, I've printed them pretty much solid so shouldn't have to worry about that. Uh, I've been using them now uh, for about a month and uh, they've been um, working fine. What can I say? They just work. <laughs> okay, he's safe. Uh, now it's time for the outro. Here we go. Outro, outro, outro.